Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to my tips and tricks video on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now, if you're watching this video right now, that means you either have picked up a Galaxy Note 10 or Note 10 Plus or you're considering buying one. So this video is gonna help you giving you enough tips and tricks to use the device to its maximum capability. Now, the wallpaper you see in this video, I'm gonna leave the link down for you guys below so you can check it out and download the wallpaper. And I'm gonna ask a question here. If you guys like wallpapers, what do you think about a dedicated video on just the wallpapers that I showcase in uh, on the channel? Uh, let me know what you think down below. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So let's go ahead and jump in and find out some ways to use our Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus to the best of my ability. So you just got your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Three, two, one, go. Your Galaxy Note 10 Plus um, has just one button for power and volume. There's no big speed button but you want to go ahead and restart your device for whatever reason, or we want to turn it off. You press and hold, it takes you straight to Bixby and you're going, okay, what do I need to do? Well, it's very simple. You can change that button functionality or also remap the, the button's functions by sliding down the notification bar. And then you do have uh, the power button here, which you can go ahead and hit that power button. Gives you power options, but you want to go to the side key settings. Now you can go through access this through the uh, settings menu, of course. And then you can see press and hold, uh, which you, of course you set for power off menu. And then you have uh, the ability to remap your button. So you've got uh, for double press, launch a camera, Bixby, or open an app. In this case, I have Instagram, but I can go ahead and hit the gear icon there and open up any application I want. So it doesn't matter what application I have here, it could be a game, it could be Instagram, and I'll leave it at Instagram here. So when I double tap, boom, I'm right here on my Instagram menu. So you have that ability with, of course, uh, remapping the power button. Now, the other feature to think of is the S Pen. This thing has a lot of more functionality than you can think. And some of them have to do with just what you can do directly with the S Pen. I'm maybe talking about gestures, which we'll get to. So when you pull out your S Pen, you've got this floating icon here. You can tap and that gives you a couple of features in here, which you can remap and add a few things. One of the coolest one is called Glance. So Glance allows you to open an app and view another app. So that's going to uh, double tap a power button. We are here in um, Instagram and uh, we can go ahead and move to say Twitter here and uh, Boom, so we want to use glance again. So we actually go ahead and Boom use glance and then we can hop in between the app that we are looking at before or in this case our home screen and then we can hover across and glance back so say you wanted to go ahead and look at something here quickly on Instagram and then go back to your home menu and select something else. You can do that, you can hover back again. This is a pretty cool and simple feature, so I definitely like that. Another cool feature uh, you'll find with the S Pen menu, if I just go here, open up the browser, let's, uh, let's just stay here at Gadget, go to the home page, and we wanna read this article on No Man's Sky. So we tap on that, uh, it's, the print is a little too small for me, for instance. There is a magnifier you can actually use, and you tap, and you hit OK, and you hover across the text, and now that magnifies the text for you, and you can read that quite easily. So you don't have to go and change the text uh, settings within your device. You can actually just magnify over a certain text, and you can read that as well. So it's a nice feature, and that works pretty well. This, of course, is a customizable option here, uh, and you can go in and add so many other things. You've got the right on calendar, which is pretty nice. So what I like about it is that when you go into your calendar and I want to basically go ahead and mark a date, now I can hover across, or I can uh, write on the calendar and just set myself a reminder and say, okay, that date is really important, Columbus Day, or um, you know, whatever you want to call that day. It's very important, I want, I want to actually pay attention to it. That is a cool feature and that works well. And you can see all features work hand in hand, so I can still use Glance, I can use Magnify all at the same time. So that is actually pretty cool. Another good feature that's really nice is the brand new air gestures. Now, some people say, well, it's gimmicky. Well, look, if you've got friends or you travel a lot, this is a great way to take photos. Uh, but also the air gestures have more uh, functionality, which we'll get to. So we go into the camera app, and of course, to use the air gestures, you wanna press the button on your S Pen and move left or right to basically move into the direction of whatever function you wanna use within the camera. So you can go left, you can go right, 
um, and then I'm going to go into the photos. And if you want to zoom, you're supposed to do a circle of motion, but the easiest thing is just do a quick arc. So I want to zoom in. I'm going to press, and you can see I'm zooming in. Very simple. If I want to zoom back out the other way, and just hold, and boom. So you don't have to do the circle motion. You can just go ahead and move it in whichever short arc way you want. Now, if you want to flip the front facing camera, you can do that here, you can flip back down, you've got that capability. But this can be customizable, and what you want to do to customize it to do more or different things is to go into your settings, and you want to go into advanced features, go, of course, to your S Pen, and go to Air Actions. Now here, um, you can give your, your S Pen a couple of features. So hold down the S Pen button to open up PUBG. So I'm going to go ahead and hold that down. And boom, I fire PUBG. That's just a, that's something you can remap for any function within your device. It's pretty nice. You can tap in, select an application. I have said PUBG for that. So that's what my S Pen does when I actually hold it down. You can use it to open up the camera or whatever you want to. Now you can also set up the actions here for apps to use air action. So I've got a few, you've got your camera, you've got your player, you've got Chrome, uh, the clock, air doodle, and you can even go ahead and um, customize the control. So to take a picture, it's a single press button. You can turn it on and off in the camera. Um, you can go ahead and customize these controls for whatever you want to do. So volume down, volume up, play next. I can switch it around uh, for whatever I, I want. So you can actually go ahead and customize that. So you can go into the application of choice and then you can customize that in here as well. So taking a look at how you can use this say in, in Chrome is you can use the air gestures in here to scroll up, scroll down. Now this is really nice if you are connected wirelessly to say a TV, a smart TV, you can actually use your controls here. Uh, and of course it works with YouTube. So if you go into YouTube, you do have the ability to pause and play. Let's see, let's open up something. Let's look at Michael Fisher's video. So we're looking at uh, Mr. Mobile's video, it's playing. I can go ahead and pause it. I can press play. I can skip to the next video. Uh, from CNET, I can skip back. Um, I can't scrub through, that's the only thing. I wish I could just hold and scrub through, so hopefully that functionality comes in, but you get the idea here. It's again, it's very versatile using the S Pen this way. So another cool feature you can use the S Pen is to unlock your device. Now, some of you might think, oh, that is really not safe. Well, I'll show you how to do it and also why uh, it actually is safe. So I have my device here. I can go ahead and just press my S Pen and unlock my device, and boom, my device is unlocked. Now I can of course use my fingerprint or whatever the case may be, but here's the thing, if your S Pen is in your device, and say you lose your phone, and somebody now takes out your S Pen and tries to unlock it, and then they press the button, doesn't work. Even if we go back, we press it, it doesn't work. So it has to be within your own uh, purview of use and also you can set this with a fingerprint sensor as well or security pass so if you want even in-depth uh, of course security options for this to set it up is very simple you want to go into advanced features go into s pen and right here you want to go ahead and click the unlock s pen select that feature hit ok and boom you are good to go nice simple feature using your s pen that way Another cool feature with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is the ability to switch to like an uh, inverse color scheme or negative space, which is great when you want to read text because everything becomes dark and doesn't matter what application you're in. You know, if we can go to something like Instagram that has a white background, you can see you've got all that there. But uh, to quickly access it, of course, this is done by hitting the power and the volume up button at the same time. Um, and to set this up, you want to go into your settings menu go all the way to accessibility and here you go to advanced settings and then you have the ability to map that out so it's side volume keys you can set it for negative colors you can set it for magnify window color adjustment color lens a few other options here as well so voice assistant if you want that too uh, to be set that way 
Now, another option here is for the volume up and volume down keys at the same time. This will op to open up certain services. And for me, this is dash lane. Of course, I use that. So I can go ahead and just basically press and hold for three seconds. And dash lane has been turned on and you have it on. So you can set up those services that way or I can press and hold again. And then it's turned off. So nice, simple way to use that feature. Now the Galaxy uh, Note 10 Plus has a couple of cool features baked already into the notification tray. One of them, of course, is a QR code scanner, which is great. This is something that a lot of Android devices just don't have. Uh, once you tap into it, it takes you straight to the camera, you just scan right away. There's really nothing else to do, but go ahead and hit the scan button. Now, if we scroll down, uh, we also have a couple other options here. We have link to window, which we'll get to in a second, but we also have the screen recorder, which I've used in my gaming videos. Definitely go check that out. And that allows you to go ahead and capture your screen. Uh, and what's cool about it is you can do whatever you want to do. You can even go ahead and write on the screen and you can use the front facing camera and you can position the camera in any location while you're doing this. So I usually do this for my gameplay videos and this is actually pretty cool uh, on here. So that's a really cool feature. Again, it's quick and easy to access here in the notification tray. Another cool feature, of course, is linked to window, which basically connects your PC and your phone together. Uh, so allows you to drop photos directly from your phone to your PC. You can check, you can respond to text messages on there. Uh, you can also have a preview window and navigate your smartphone directly from your PC. It's a really cool feature. Uh, it, the one thing that doesn't work, of course, is audio. So if you're playing, say, a YouTube video, that video's audio wouldn't show up, but uh, you've got to check out Viper's video. Go ahead and check out his channel. It's got some uh, interesting stuff for you guys to check out. Now, a cool feature with Link to Window though is if you're watching, say, something on YouTube on your phone, like, again, Viper's video here, and I'm just gonna turn the volume down, and you hit Share, uh, you can go ahead and continue on PC. So you hit the Continue on PC, it shows you the PCs you have, hit the button, and it is going to open up a browser. So, continues the video for you right there, and you can see it on the PC is having Discord within the Game Booster, which is great. Uh, just make sure Git Discord is installed onto your Galaxy uh, Note 10 or Note 10 Plus. You can hit the Discord icon, and then of course you can invite people, uh, switch channels, open Discords, have a chat. So while you're gaming, you have your own private chat. I'm gonna share my Discord link with you guys so we can chime in, chat, jump to gameplay. I'll be doing some more gameplay stuff as well. So this should be really, really fun. S Pen does have shortcuts for different things. So a few we showed earlier, of course, was the Write On Calendar Magnifier, which you can drop here with the S Pen features. But you can also put apps within those shortcuts. So if you want to, you can go ahead and say, put Pro Evolution Soccer right here. So anytime I access the S Pen, I have that right here. And I can go to it whenever I want to. Uh, there is also a coloring book and you can take applications out. But I wanted to just show you the coloring book quickly. It's right here, it says color, boom, close that out, bring that back up again, and you agree, and you can start coloring. Color anything you want to. Uh, this is pretty cool though. I would try the house here, start coloring. I uh, will pick my color red, I want red roost. stuff that you can zoom in get in nice and clean and do your stuff so there's a lot of functionality to the galaxy uh, note 10 note 10 plus uh, in here and hopefully this gives you a good idea of all the things that you need on your device that you can take access to so let's go ahead and round up this uh, this video so there's a lot of things you can do with the galaxy note 10 note 10 plus the s pen has a ton of features this device is just really solid all Around. And I think a lot of people will find so many great things you can use with the pen. Some of the things I didn't fully talk about are things like, of course, you know, write to text, where you can write on your Galaxy Note 10 
and it will transcribe the text and you can use it in, in Word or different applications as you see fit with this device. Uh, there's a lot to use with that. There's also reverse wireless charging, something that of course is just baked into the device uh, that you have here. So a lot you can do with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and I think a lot of people will like it. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let me know, I'll try and send them for you. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel and always enjoy it.